Now to campaign 2020 and the Florida primary just eight days away. The Broward County Elections Department was the laughing stock of the country after the 2018 election, and that resulted in the elected supervisor being replaced. The governor appointed a caretaker, and now, as CBS 4's Hank Tester reports, seven candidates want the job. Seven candidates running for Broward Supervisor of Elections, all vowing to bring leadership to the once troubled agency, which has been stabilized by a caretaker since Brenda Snipes departed the office in a firestorm of criticism. Jennifer Gottlieb is a former Broward County School Board Chairman. And we need to make sure that the technology is used to keep our um, information safe and secure and that the servers are protected and, and know that all of our staff is trained and given the proper support that they need to run these elections. Kim Lonergan is the mayor of Oakland Park. A lot of quality control, a lot of policies and procedures and process instructions need to be updated. We need quality control uh, processes in place, making sure that we're auditing ourselves uh, we need to uh, measure twice and cut once and make sure that the office is running efficiently and effectively. Joe Scott's a graduate of West Point involved with a local technology company. I come from a very different background. I've actually never been in politics. I was an Army officer, and, uh, and I've been a business leader now for more than a decade. Um, I, so I studied computer science and cybersecurity at West Point, which is well known to be one of the best leadership development institutions in the world. Catherine McBreen is an attorney specializing in internal audits of financial institutions. I think the most important thing is to sort of drain the swamp. I think that we need a clean start and we don't need to put back any of the individuals that have been in there or at least associated in the past with the voter fraud that's occurred. I think that the most important thing is to kick the tires. Chad Klisman is a Columbia Law School graduate, worked in the Obama White House. At this point in time, restoring confidence in the process. Uh, in order to do that, I maintain that we need to make sure we have uniformity in process in the Supervisor of Elections Office, make sure that for every function of the office, there's a corresponding procedure. Mitch Caesar is a well-known figure in Broward County political circles. I'm running for supervisor elections because this is not a place for on-the-job training. You have to be ready day one. My background is I've been an attorney for 40 years. I've been an election law expert for 40 years. Ruth Carter Lynch, a 30-year corporate veteran, 15 of those years as a human resource professional. This job is the business side of the election process. And what I mean by that, it does five things. It administrates, facilitates, operates, educate and communicate with the voters of Broward County. That is what my skill set dictates, is that I'm the person that can actually do this job. If you want more information on the candidates for the Broward County Supervisor of Elections, go to our website at cbsmiami.com. Hank Tester, CBS4 News.